Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about the mystery of mortgage rate, part two. Don't go anywhere. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ade Juano. I'm a realtor here in Bellevue, Washington with Realty Executives Brio. And this is part two. So I will put the link up above or down below for part one. Go watch that one and then come back here. And first off, hopefully you guys stay home and stay healthy. So even though you work from home, don't forget to exercise and eat good. And okay, let's get started. So what is mortgage rate? Because the lender charge you mortgage rate, right? So it's pretty much the cost of money, the risk of the borrower, which is you, and also the economy, what's going on with the economy and profit. Of course, they still have to make profit, but it's not as much as you think. On this one, I made two examples, first buyer and second buyer. They both want to buy a $600,000 home. Let's go look at the payments. First client with 740 credit score and 20% down. The monthly payment is 2057 and 51 cents. The second client with 650 credit score with 5% down. The monthly payment is 28.47.61 cents. So as you can see here, um the better your credit score uh the more down that you put your monthly payment will go lower in this case they're about 800 dollar difference monthly so on the second slide we're gonna take a look at it uh how's the payment made up in 30 years so first year payment 27 percent goes to the principal the rest is interest 10th year it's 41 percent 20th year it's 63 percent so at the beginning you're paying the interest but the more you stay with the loan you're paying more principal it just goes like that so what factors determine your interest rate usually lender will look at your income credit score the income ratio um what kind of loan program that you want to be in and how long you want to be in 15 years or 30 years best is to contact your lender and discuss all about this let's look at your credit score your credit score is measured on how well you will repay the loan right the higher your credit score the lower interest rate that you will get same thing with down payment if you put more down payment it posts that you less risk uh, to the lender. It's it's kind of like less risk just because you have more skin in the game. So if you put less down payment or no down payment, it creates more risk and your interest might be higher. We also have rolling costs and other borrowing fees into your loan. This one will typically cost your interest rate to increase. Loans that are above or below the limits of confirming mortgages may also increase the interest rate and origination fees. And usually you will pay a lower interest rate if you pick shorter term. So if you compare 15 years and 30 years, usually the 15 years loan have better interest rate. And what is APR in a mortgage? APR is annual percentage rate. On a mortgage reflects the interest rate as well as the other borrowing costs. And when you see here, we have loan A and loan B. Loan B pay 2,000 for discount points. That's why the APR is lower than loan A. A minimum credit score is 580 excellent credit score is 670 so if you have a lower credit score please work on your credit because your credit score will will affect on the interest rate and everything else so if you're already thinking about buying and your score is low then work on getting your credit score as high as you can 
And on this slide, remember this from uh, the first slide with client, first client and second client. The first client 740 credit score with 20% down, second client with 650 credit score with 5% down. Um, I put example here. So for this example, for the second client to make it, to make the payment, it's about the same. Uh, the second client needs to find a home that worth 377.5 instead of 600. So with that one, if you can save a little bit more money and working on your credit, you can buy more house. And how to get the best mortgage experience. It's not just interest rate. We look at origination, junk fees, service, follow up and closing on time. And working with the lender that you can see face to face, it's, it's really helpful. Uh, I see a lot of people using the online 1-800 number. This is, this is your home loan. Um, find a lender that you can see them in person. That way the lender can simplify the process accessible. And with that, everything gonna go smoothly. And if you want to compare with other lenders, that's okay too. Just ask them to get good faith estimates. That way you can really compare. They have a lot of fees in there, uh, fine print, hidden fees. So it's good if you can ask them, hey, can I get good faith estimates? And this is Kenton Becker. He, he's my preferred lender and he's local. His office is also in Bellevue. So if you ever need anything, you don't want to talk, you can just go see him in person. So this is important important points to remember work with a local lender that you can trust so then the lender can walk you through loan options loan terms lender fees and your monthly payments also compare all the uh, payment schedule for the loans remember credit score that's 580 and higher will get lower rates same thing with down payment, more down payment, lower rates too. And I'm not a lender, discuss all this with a lender. You can ask me, hey, um, can I use your lender? I'll be like, okay. But if you have lender, ask your lender about this, your lender should you, uh, your lender should give you all the options, all the situation that can happen. And that way you can pick which one will fit you the best. Okay, so that's it for today. That's the end of part two. Wait for part three. I still have one more coming. And then if you have family or friends that can benefit from this video, please share it with them. And I'll see you guys next week.